lot more touches for you this year as far as uh, how you're being included in the offense? Yeah, I'll say so, yeah. Are you, uh, we, we've heard that you lost weight in the offseason. I mean, what are you at right now? Uh, around 220, 225 on any given day. Um, yeah, I lost about 20, tw uh, 15 pounds. So I feel good. My body feel good. I feel feel faster, feel bigger, feel stronger. Yeah. Was that something you went to the strength staff and said, hey, guys, I, I need to slim down? Or did they come to you and say, hey, we think you can play it this way? Um, nah, it's, it's, what, it's what I wanted to do for myself. I feel like I was just... I didn't feel like myself um, being like too heavy. So me getting down 20, 20 pounds, dropping that weight, it feels a lot better. I, I run better. I, I, my routes are pretty much solid and I feel good. Yeah, yeah, we hear all the time about the deep ball element with this offense. As a running back, do you, do you guys hear, do you realize, you know, like, hey, this, this is going to open things up for us as well? Of course. Um, we're, we're definitely happy we got a quarterback that can throw the ball and receivers that can catch it. We got a, a lot of nice young guys and a lot of uh, vets on the, the wide receiver and they call Waffle House. So um, I think we, we're just going to be explosive. If they're Waffle House, what's the running back room? Uh, we're just RBU. I feel like that's that's what the standard is here. <laughs> Wait, so you guys didn't have a voted on name? No, we didn't. What? No. We heard that the DBs were the hounds. They're the Waffle Houses, the QB killers. I know er er everybody got their names, but we, we just like saying we're RBU because okay. I feel like that's what we are naturally too. With your change in your, like, your body size, just how it, you've always been a hard runner. Like, whenever we see you in your biggest moments, you're running over people. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you have to account for? Like, hey, I'm going to be quicker, but maybe I have to be more judicious with how I make different moves? Um, Yeah, I think me, it's not based on what I'm going to do. It's based on my reaction. So um, if I feel like at that time the right move is to run somebody over, that's what I'm going to do. If I'm going to have to do, give them a spin or a jump cut, that's what I'm going to do at the time. So it's not nothing I'm going to just game plan for, but this is whatever I feel at the time. Yeah, you know, there's a national narrative going on right now about the value of running backs. As a guy who next year you're going to have to be considering your value, mm -hmm. is, is that something you think about at all? Um, nah, no. But when I when it when it gets to that point, I'll say yeah. But I feel like the running backs is probably the most important position on the field because we gotta we gotta be able to, to protect the quarterback and we gotta be able to make plays and out of the backfield and actually getting the handoff and stuff. So I feel like the running back position is is top How much so, you, I was gonna say we were talking to Andre about guys like you Rodney Sebo the receivers going through the offense for the second time mm -hmm. you know, the second year of being in this offense how much when you look around for yourself your position and the offense as a whole how much can you see that guys are that much more comfortable with it that much more familiar with it oh yeah it's the same when I, when I got here my first time with uh coach whip and our first first year or so in the offense, everybody's just trying to get used to it, know all the calls, know all the checks. But now we're in year two now, so everybody's more comfortable. We know what we're doing. We know what Coach Siggs want us to do. We know what what if the defense take away this, where are we going with the ball and what the protection is. So I feel like everybody as a whole is more comfortable with the offense. If you get comfortable, you run, you rear fast, we got fast pace. We've heard a lot about how Phil has sort of brought a different element in his leadership style, not just his play style, mm -hmm. but how he you know approaches you guys and how he is as a teammate. What have you noticed in just your relationship with him and his, how you've seen him build relationship with others? Um, he's he's definitely he, he's going to be a leader. He's definitely going to command the host. He's going to um, demand you to be great at all times um, and definitely know the plays and, and, and know where you need to be and know where you need to fit. And I feel like he's, he's a great leader. It's something that I see a couple of years ago with Kenny Pickett. I feel like um, he, he has that type of leadership too. How have you seen Rodney Hammond progress from his freshman year to now? Oh, he, he makes stride after stride every year. I mean, him coming in as a freshman, he didn't really know what he was looking at for his run reads or what, what protection it is, what he need to pick up. But now you see he's fluid now. He, he, he can teach it to somebody else. So you know that he's getting better. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited for what the years come for all of us. What have you seen out of uh, Montrevious Lloyd, TJ Harvison, you guys have come into uh... I'm good. You know, they're, they're still young. They still got a lot to learn. Um, them is more about just being calm and being confident. So we got a whole bunch of install in for the offense and their heads start getting spinning. I, I try to tell them just calm down. It's the same game you've been playing since you were a kid. So it's, it's just football. They just go out and have fun and be confident.